The Prey is a movie I watched on Amazon Prime. It is directed by, and written I believe, in part, by Jimi Henderson, who also did the movie Jailbreak, which I thought was an okay movie. Uh, I have a review for this um, jailbreak on my channel. I felt the movie, you know, did everything technically right, but there's a lot of gaps in story. The Prey is a completely different movie, though. It is a humans hunting humans for sport movie, which is one of my favorite subgenres. So as soon as I found out about that, I was totally down. Starts off with our main character. Uh, he's undercover. However, he gets arrested in a raid, and obviously. He's in another country, so they don't know that he's undercover. He gets sent to this uh, far-off prison where he's uh, selected to be hunted by a group of wealthy people who pay a prison warden. So he finds himself you know, running for his life, and then now he's in the, some jungle of sorts or something. And he's, got a, he's with a couple of the survivors, and he's got his own team trying to find him as well. So to start, uh, The Prey is a really strong directed movie. I really liked uh, the opening. It takes its time. It sets up the villains. There's an interesting new element in this um, nephew character. He's uh, inherited a lot of money and his uh, uncle brought him to the game. Uh, and he something off about him, but it plays, pays off a lot well later anyway. It's like a new element that you don't really see in uh, these types of action movies and they incorporate a little bit of martial arts um, stuff into this movie as well not too much it's mostly an action picture but it's nice and gory it's thrilling suspenseful I guess the only big problem I have with this movie is that it sort of runs out of steam the movie is barely 80 80 80 80 to 85 minutes long and the last like 10 to 15 minutes just feels just thrown tacked on. It's so weird because if they didn't do the whole, you know, last 15 minutes, then the movie would be like really short. It'd be like maybe 70, 75 minutes. So they, they sort of like, it feels like it's limping towards the finish line because after the um, initial, you know, escaping the game, they, they go into, if they find this little village or something and it ties into something earlier in the film. And then all these nameless characters shooting at each other and, the main character pretty much like gets kind of shafted. He's like not, you know, he's the focus for most of the movie, but then he sort of gets pushed to the wayside because they're introducing all this villager characters and all these rebels and like all these nameless people, mercenaries and things like that. And um, yeah, the villains go down way too easy at the end, um, little bitches, you know. It takes away the personal touch of being hunted. You know, they don't get their comeuppance really because you know, they introduce this other plot element at the end. So. That's the only weakness of the film that kind of mars it a little bit because it was really strong. But then about halfway through, they start just making stuff up. Like they um, keep this one character hostage for no reason. And um, but all the technical stuff is cool. For the most part, this movie is very entertaining. However, it sort of drops the ball for the last 10 to 15 minutes. It doesn't really kill the film entirely. They don't try to do anything too um, you know, dumb, but overall it's a satisfying action picture for the, especially for the subgenre of humans hunting humans for sport. I just wish they had a stronger ending. So I give uh, The Prey a six and a half out of 10.